This is the Swarm and Shoot football show with me, Manny Matsakis, the head football coach at Defiance College. We feature Defiance College football and everything that influences our program. This show is brought to you by our friends at Big B Coffee right across campus on North Clinton Street. I'm actually having a cup right now, so uh, everybody uh, check it out on YouTube and um, you can see the video of the cup and uh, how delicious this beverage is. Uh, get the finest coffee beverages, even tea, in Defiance, as well as great pastries, breakfast sandwiches to start your day off, and you can even get a pick-me-up like a lot of our coaching staff does in the afternoon. I'd also like to bring on board the maker of this fine apparel right here, uh, and not, not just Nike, but we're talking about BSN Sports, all right? I'd like to bring on board our latest sponsor, BSN Sports, and Rob Held, and his sales team are the professionals you need to get in touch with for all your sporting goods and apparel needs in Ohio. Not only do they work with high school and college sports teams, they also deliver outstanding apparel to businesses so they can brand themselves in a first class manner. Welcome to the show, Maurice. How are you today? I'm doing good, are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Take me through uh, fall practice a little bit here and, and how things have started out for you guys. Um, it's been pretty interesting. Um at the least. Um, it's kind of weird, um, but we're getting our feedback on the um, ground, hitting the ground running, learning plays, a um, good, good, little bit of conditioning in, um, which we need. So that's pretty much it. Yeah. And how is conditioning going? Obviously, with the pandemic all off season, how did you stay in shape? Uh, give me some insight there. Um, well, Coach Shank is our offensive coordinator. He um, kept us with the weight program and the ways that we had to do. Um, but it was up to us to do it. Um, I worked out and I ran every day. Uh, no days off around here. Um, I try to push myself to push guys a little bit better and a little bit harder. So when it came back to the field, I wasn't in shape as football shape, but I was in shape enough to make it through the conditioning. And now we're pushing guys harder, so we're achieving our goals one yeah. step at a time. Yeah. As a senior, what kind of leadership role do you want to take this season? Um, I want to be exp- expressive, um, not more laid back. Let them know that everything that we have is um, earned. Like nothing's given in this league. So we have to come in and be ready for it. No um, no step backs, no days off. What is the next step? Where do you guys have to improve to get to where you want to be come next spring, do you feel like? Well, it starts with the playbook. You know, that's really all it's on. The battle is won before it's fought. And that starts with the playbook and conditioning. Um, with the, with the um, skills that we got on this team, there's no reason why we couldn't be top of the conference. So it's just a matter of us exploring it and putting it out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do you like about this group? I know it's early in practice and you got some new freshmen just coming in and, and starting, but what, what do you really like about this group and what can this group do next spring, do you feel like? This group is self-willed. Mm-hmm. Like, you do not have to stay on these guys at all about the practicing and every, or anything. They do it on their own. They feel like they got something to prove, and who doesn't at this point? Um, and I think that fit right into our scheme because in this conference we have a lot to prove. I think that we are the underdogs, and that is – a big change that's coming up. And with these guys, they are quick to catch on and they're willing to learn. And that's something that we, this program haven't had in a minute. Yeah. Ending the season with the win over Bluffton, a rivalry game, what has that done for the off season? That made us even more hungrier. Um, I remind guys every day that even though we did beat Bluffton, it's an L in our book because a 10-7 to 7 game is not a win for us. Mm-hmm. Um Compared to the other teams that we don't play, we don't like they put too many points on us. So we can't get high on a high horse because we won one game. One game mean anything. And our one goal here is to achieve for a championship. And so that's what we contended for. Yep. You come from Memphis. What brought you all the way to Northwest Ohio? <laughs> that's a good question. Um, I ask myself that every day. Um, but I would say the coaching staff, the atmosphere here, the family, or uh, it's family oriented, I feel here. Um, even though I'm far away from home, I feel like these guys took me in under their wing, and I want to give a great shout-out to Coach Mansakis for that because he made sure that all the coaching staff, him and Coach Johnson, actually made me feel at home, and I feel great, and I will go to work with you guys. Yeah. Playing for a defensive coordinator like Coach Johnson, a guy that's played in the NFL, the CFL, you know, high school standout, What what is that like? Take me through that as a defensive player playing for somebody with his with his uh, kind of honors and, and that kind of thing. Um, he can show you a lot of different things that you can't see. Like um, for a defensive end and middle linebacker, um, it's certain things that I might see, but it's different ways he can teach it to me to make it like to dumb it down for me 
and it helps me be a better person, a better athlete. And with him, he stays on you day in, day out. It's not about what you do on the field, but it's what you do off the field, how you conduct yourself. So no matter what, if you know everything on the field, he still judges you by off the field characters because that's how you really are. Yeah, I asked Stephen Lucas this question earlier, and uh, he he didn't have an answer for me. He had to still figure it out. Who's the toughest guy on this defense? <laughs> you gonna say yourself? You're a pretty big dude. Um, the toughest guy on this defense, um, I'll have to say we all are. Okay, it, it takes it takes a um, different type of dog to run this defense and to play this defense. And with the Coach Johnson at the with Coach Johnson era, yeah, everybody got to be some dogs. Yeah, so we are all one. Yeah. And not having games until next spring, you're still, you know, several months from playing games. Uh, has it been hard to have the intensity up here in, in the fall, knowing that games are so far away? It has been. It has not been an easy road. But we know when we put on the pass and we hit that field, that's the field mentality. It's a war mentality. So, like, we may not feel like doing it, and we might not understand what's the point of doing it, but when we hit the field, it's only one mentality. Yeah. You talked about giving up too many points a year ago. Uh, what changes, improvements do you guys have to make from now until spring to, you know, give up the amount of points that you want to give up and not so many that, that maybe you gave up a year ago? Um, that comes with our, um, every factor of the team. Um, our special teams got to be better. But most importantly, um, our defense has to be better. We have to be more fundamentally sound. We can't be having penalties, jumping off sides, because we, we beat ourselves, then the other team beating us. So we have to be more fundamentally sound, more better prepared so we can win this year. You ready for the cold and, and playing in and possible snow next <laughs> next next uh, spring, man? I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm gonna have to talk to Coach Masek after this interview. <laughs> Maybe you have to build you a dome or something. Yeah, before. Right? They're gonna have to do something because <laughs> I, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. But um, I'm excited to play with these guys. Um, so I feel like I'm gonna be okay. Once I get that out of my head, we'll be good. You gonna go uh, sleeveless or will you have to put something on those arms? I don't know. It's kind of chilly already. Um, dealing with the weather up here, I feel like I'm going to have to go too long, too too uh, leggings, all that. Yeah. Whole deal. Maurice, thanks so much. It was good talking to you. Take care. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Appreciate right. it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us on this latest episode of the Swarm and Shoot Football Show. If you're listening to this podcast, make sure to subscribe in iTunes, give us a rating, comment on the show. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bell in the top corner there so you can get notifications when we release the next show. Feel free to comment below on a specific show and we'll answer those questions as we need to. If you'd like to step up to the next level and get all kinds of updates, go to our website swarmandshoot.com where you'll get up to date alerts on all of our podcasts you'll have the audio on there there's actually a video player where you can scroll through each and every episode that we have um, of the podcast from the from the youtube version so you never really have to leave the site you also see some uh, features on various players our coaching staff bios all types of things going on in our program um, when our golf scramble is different fundraisers we do just insights for you that take you to that next level which is what swarmandshoot.com will do for you take a minute and subscribe with your email when you log on there will actually probably be a pop-up about six seconds into it and it gives you a chance to go in and and that will put you into our email database so every time we update you get an email known that uh, we're basically set to go on the next episode of the podcast or any news that's coming out. Appreciate you uh, supporting the program and um, look forward to a wonderful season.